welcome to Yummy Lady's Kitchen YouTube channel where we provide you food for the soul. Hi guys, my name is Falangi Ojo. You know what it is. It is a new recipe video out now. And if you don't follow us already, I think it's time for you to click that subscribe button right now as we show you this awesome cool recipe. Today we're going to be making our homemade spicy tomato sauce. Now this tomato sauce it is literally the best thing since sliced bread but let me not talk too much let's get to the kitchen and let's start cooking our spicy tomato sauce come on guys so to make our spicy tomato sauce we're going to use some frozen mixed peppers we're going to use one tin of chopped tomatoes you can use fresh tomatoes that's fine we're going to use some salt obviously for seasoning we're going to use some minced garlic and ginger paste, some vegetable oil, you can use any type of frying oil, mixed ground spice, we're gonna use some dried thyme, you can use fresh thyme, that's fine. Some curry, one spring onion, I'm using half a scotch bonnet here because this is quite spicy. I've got some fresh parsley, you can use dried parsley. I've got one nor cube and I've got a medium size onion for this. So, okay guys, now we need to chop off our vegetables. First things first, you need to peel and chop your onion. So you can chop them in any size you like, very thinly or in squares. I like mine a bit chunky because I like to see them well in the sauce, but you might not, so you can cut yours really small. However you like your onions chopped, just chop them and put them to one side ready to put in the sauce. You also need to dice your scotch bonnet. Again, you can dice them according to your preference. I'm only using half because this particular scotch bonnet is unusually hot, but it's up to you. I mean, if you like the overwhelming heat, then by all means, use a whole one. Next is your spring onion. So I've already washed my spring onion and I usually just chop them off in small little circles like this. Now you might be wondering why we need another type of onion for this dish, but spring onions usually bring a beautiful aroma and a different taste. So that's why we are having it now. And lastly, I'm going to grab my fresh parsley. I have washed this already, so make sure you do that before. And then just chop it up into tiny little pieces. And of course, if you're using dried parsley, then you don't need to do the steps. So you're fine and we are ready to start cooking. Now you can grab yourself a small to medium saucepan and place it on top of your burner, but don't turn the heat on just yet. So next you get your cooking oil and you can add three to four tablespoons of your cooking oil into your pot. Remember, you can use any type of cooking oil, vegetables, sunflower, avocado, coconut, whatever you want, you prefer, you can use it. And now you can turn on your burner. Easy oil to get hot for about one or two minutes. I usually put a small piece of onion inside the oil just to check if it's hot enough. So once your oil is hot, add in all your chopped onions and gently stir for about two to three minutes. Then you can now add in your diced scotch bonnet and stir for another minute or so. Next you grab your minced ginger and garlic paste and add in half a tablespoon of it into your pot. And then you stir for about another minute. At this point, it's going to start sizzling a lot, so just be careful that when you're stirring, you don't hurt yourself. There are going to be bits and pieces flying out of the pot, so just be careful. It's better to be safe than sorry. So after stirring in your ingredients for about two minutes, you can now add in your frozen mixed peppers, and of course, you guessed right, and you're going to have to stir it in again for another two minutes. You can always use 
fresh chopped peppers that's absolutely fine I just find that the frozen ones are very handy when I'm trying to make a really really quick meal and I don't have time to chop individual peppers in the right sizes so I'm going with my frozen now add in your chopped tomatoes and again you can always use fresh tomatoes that you chop for yourself that's absolutely fine it's your choice but once your tomatoes are in, make sure you give it a good stir and leave it to cook for about six to eight minutes. After six minutes, your sauce would have already started bubbling at this point. So give it a little stir and leave it again for another two minutes. So your sauce has been cooking for eight minutes now. You can start adding in your seasoning. So let's start with salt. Add in a quarter tablespoon of salt, add in one tablespoon of curry, you can also add in an extra quarter tablespoon if you love curry like that, add it in half a tablespoon of dry thyme, now you can add in half a tablespoon of ground mixed spice as well, grab a hold of your nor cubes and make sure you crush them finely inside your sauce crush both of them not just one both of them i'm adding in a dash of dried crushed chili um, this is optional um, and only if you like pepper of course so now stir it all up stir it all up and leave it for three to five minutes Your spicy tomato sauce is almost ready and you can now add in any cooked fish or meat of your choice. I've got some cooked beef and smoked turkey pieces that I froze so that's what I'm adding in and I'm just going to leave it in to simmer for another three minutes. Now taste your sauce to make sure that everything is to your liking and you can always add more salt if needed but trust me guys it's not needed. And last but not least, you need to add in your chopped spring onions. And also, don't forget, add in your chopped parsley. Stir in for a minute or two. And oh my goodness, your spicy tomato sauce, it is absolutely ready to be devoured. So guys, you can serve your spicy tomato sauce with anything that you like. Today I'm having mine with some boiled egg and some white rice and a bit of cucumber slices on the side but you can eat it with pasta, yam, potatoes, plantain, couscous, bread, literally anything and it's super easy to make so I hope you guys really like it. Hi guys, just wanted to say thank you for spending this time with me making our spicy tomato sauce. I am sure you are going to love it. So do send us your comments and your reviews about what you think about the sauce. Um, you can DM us on our Instagram at Yummy Days Kitchen, Twitter at Yummy Days Kitchen, Facebook at Yummy Days Kitchen, TikTok at Yummy Days Kitchen. And you know, you can also leave your comments here down below on YouTube. Make sure you guys stay safe make sure you guys stay home and eat well love to you all bye